Welcome to part 3. Today we're gonna add an outline effect and add an interaction widget. So let's start with the outline material. I didn't create the outline material myself. You can use any outline material you want, but for this tutorial I'm using this outline material. Um, so the credits go to Pearl Cube. Check them out. To make it as easy as possible for you, I added the notes of the material to Blueprint UE. So we can just copy them now and creating our outer material. We'll just do that. So just on this page, link in the description, click here on the copy button. If it doesn't work, you can also just select everything and Control C. But yeah. Just click this button, then it should be copied by this. Now we can go back to Unreal Engine, creating a new material. We'll just call it M Outline. So let's open this. Now we should able to paste it here. Connect this with the emissive color. And now we need to do a few adjustments here when clicking on this node. Um, we need to switch this to post-process, setting the shading model to unlit, and then scrolling down and here for post-process material, blendable location, it's by default on after tone mapping, changed it to before tone mapping. So now apply and save. Then if you don't have a post processing volume, just add one. I will just use the default one here in the map. So click on it, go to the details and search for material here on the post process materials. Add one to the array, choose asset reference. Now we can just drag and drop the material in here. So now really important to let it work is going to the project settings and search here just for custom dev. And here custom dev stencil pass is enabled, but we need to change it from enabled to enabled with Dancer. Otherwise it won't work properly. So make sure you're setting it to enabled with Dancer. Now we can close it again. And let's try by adding a, or just try to add the outline material, for example, here to this thing. Just search here for custom dev, render custom dev pass, set it on true. And we need to change the value maybe to a different value than one, than zero. So for example, to one. Now you can see here the outer material. I really like it. So let's turn it off again so we don't get irritated or so. Let's try to add it to our test act interaction actor here when we interact. So um, let's open up our interaction test actor. And basically here on event interface toggle focus, instead of printing now the string here, we're tagging our cube or the mesh that you have, or if you have several meshes, you can take them here and adding them here and render custom death setting it on true or not setting it on true, setting it based on the variable here. Now what we also need to do, because it, the index 
is the stencil index is on zero. Search here for render custom dev pass. Actually, we need to. Um, or search for stencil and then set it on one. You can only, only change it if it's if it's uh, true. Actually, we should search for custom death. It's better. So basically, set it here on true and then set it on one. Now it's activated, and then set it back on false. Just make sure that it's by default on one. So. When we enable it, it will be on one. Let's try it. Now you can see the outline effect works. So the next step uh, is adding a nice interaction widget. We can close this. Also, what I forgot to say, if you're adding here a custom uh, post-processing volume also make sure that uh, that's infinity so um, you can see it everywhere doesn't matter where the post-processing volume is so let's create the interaction widget right click user interface and widget blueprint and then just use a widget here Call it WB interaction. And open it. In here, we are just adding a size box and change it here from fill screen to desired. Then we can set the width and height both to, for example, 100. In here, we can add a border and we can just make it giving it a black transparent color now in here we can add an overlay we need a later to overlay the text that we can press for example e and we will overlay an overlay and no we are overlay <laughs> We are overlaying an progress bar. <laughs> um, so just add here text and center it. I will just type E and increase the size a bit. Like this. Okay. That should be it for, for this widget for this tutorial. So let's go to our test interaction actor and let's just add the widget interaction no not widget make sure it's not widget interaction don't be confused by that we want to have widget that's that's important just a widget <laughs> so you can move it a bit up here we won't see it in the editor but when we play Set the widget class to wb underscore interaction. Set the draws, draw a desired size to true. And set it, change it here from space world to screen. Okay. So if you play now, you will see always the interaction widget. But we want to make it only visible when we are focusing the actor. So, um, by default, we want to set the widget to hidden in game. So search here for hidden in game and set it on true. So if you play now, it should be away. Next step is going back to the interface we created. And in here, we're adding a new uh, function. And let's call it um, get interaction widget ref. And as output, we're adding here 
watch it. Widget component, widget component, object reference, widget component. I will just name it ref. Okay, just compile it. Now we can go back to our test actor. And in here, because we have added here the interface, under interfaces, here you should see the new function get interaction widget ref. Just open it, just take the widget we just added here and drag it into the ref. That's it from here. Now we can go to our interaction area again. In here. And here where we toggle the focus, we can now in here setting the uh, height or unhight the uh, widget. To do that, um, we're getting again the parent actor and from here, getting the widget get interaction widget ref. From here, we can now set hidden game We're taking focused. So if we focus, we want to unhide it. So the opposite. So search here for not boolean and connect it with new hidden. And let's try it. Now you see it's working. Looks really nice. And yeah, that's basically it from this tutorial. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and see you next time.